Hi, I'm Amy from the blog Our Amiable Farmhouse, and today I'm going to show you how I made some placemats that are super simple. They're made from cotton rope. These placemats are super easy, they whip up fast and they are made from just a cotton clothesline. It's just like a utility rope that you can buy from your local hardware store or big box hardware home store, and it could not be simpler. Um, I made about four of these placemats with about two of these skeins of rope. You're gonna want the 3 8 inch diameter and it comes in a package of 100 feet. When I first saw this technique, it was for making like bowls um, or baskets, and I thought, I love the simple cotton rope look and that it was an off-white, and I thought, oh, that would be a beautiful placemat. So I got to work. If you wanna make yourself some, follow along. Start off by taking a piece of tape and wrap it around the end of your rope. And trim the rope with a quarter inch of tape remaining. Measure from the end of the rope about four and a half to five inches and fold there and secure with a straight pin to help hold the uh, pieces of rope firmly together as you're sewing. Line up the center of your foot to the center of the two pieces of rope that you want to sew together. And using a zigzag stitch on the widest stitch available and the longest stitch, you're going to slowly and carefully stitch the pieces of rope together, ensuring that the feed of the rope coming from your supply is always on the right side. As you're moving around the corners, just take it really slow. You may have to adjust your presser foot so that you are ensuring that you're grabbing both pieces of rope as you sew along. And then just sew straight down, always holding the two pieces of rope together, kind of smooshing it together to get that snug fit as you sew. Notice how I have a stack of books to the edge of my sewing machine, and that's to help keep my placemat straight and not curving as it gets larger. The only way to keep it straight is if it has a flat surface to rest on. And so as the placemat grows and increases with uh, each pass around, you just want to ensure that it remains flat so that it doesn't curve up like a bowl. You may want to stop every once in a while and measure your progress. You just want to keep going to make the placemat the desired width. When you come to the end of your rope, 
you're simply going to cut a really deep 45 degree angle at the end and do the same with the start of the next row. Holding the two ends together as best as you can, slowly come up to them with the zigzag stitch and then you're going to sew along the two ends of the rope to join them together, just going back and forth, back and forth with your zigzag stitch. When you're ready to end the placemat, simply cut the end of your rope at a deep 45 degree angle, finish attaching it to the placemat, and then as you come to the end, zigzag back and forth several times to secure that end and to keep any loose threads from unraveling. hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and that you will make some of these placemats for your farmhouse table and if you do I'd love to see how your project came out just tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I would love to see your pictures thank you so much for joining me today if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified each week I bring a new video on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thank you for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. See you soon.